Here's Chief Meteorologist Josh Johns. Welcome back, everyone. Josh, how has rainfall helped us here in San Angelo? You know, it sure is looking green outside as you're driving around the city, and there's a reason why. We had all that rain last week. Well, we've compiled the numbers and figured out where we're sitting in terms of how much rain we've had this year. Take a look at the graphic because it tells you the story. This is where we were before we had that rain sitting there pretty close to where we should normally be. But look at this. Look at that. We're all the way up to almost how much we should see in a year. We've had 20.19 inches so far at Mathis Field, and that is about four inches above normal, 3.8 to be exact, and it's only an inch below where we should be by the time we get towards September. There's a chance that we reach that yearly rainfall total as we go into next weekend. More on that in just a bit. Take a look at the time lapse because we started off with a few clouds this morning. Those quickly burned off to plenty of sunshine this afternoon, climbing up into the mid to upper 80s this afternoon, which is a little bit above normal, about two or three degrees above normal. But we'll be back in the mid 80s again tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine out there, a really clear night, and that means it's going to be a good night for those high school football games. Not expecting any showers for the first time in about three weeks. A few showers, though, will be possible this weekend. We've got a warm week ahead and then a shot at some heavier rain as we go into next weekend. There's that cold front that I showed you there at 5. 55 in Amarillo and 84 in Lubbock. Thing is, it's not really going to come all the way down into the Concho Valley, which is why we'll be back in the mid-80s tomorrow. It's 81 currently in Barnhart, 87 in Robert Lee, 79 in Brady, 80 in Junction, 79 in Sonora, and also in Ozona. But the dew points, they're coming back up into the mid-60s, and that means that you're going to start to feel that humidity once again, especially as we get into the morning, and that humidity is just going to keep increasing as we head towards the weekend. That's why we'll bring those shower chances back. Back in. You see some of these clouds working into Sonora and Junction, but most of those should stay south of uh, Highway 67 and 87 tonight. I'm expecting a pretty clear night, although if you live in our southern counties, could be dealing with some cloud cover, but nothing that's going to cause any rainfall. All the rain sitting off to our east over there towards Houston, also towards uh, Laredo as well. That's where that cold front that was with us the other day is now located. We've got that other cold front to the north, but it's not going to make it all the way down. What it's going to do, though, is squeeze our atmosphere and with that, provide a little bit of lift for some showers and thunderstorms as we go into tomorrow. Watch how it plays out here on future cast because we're going to drop off into the 70s by the time you're leaving those games and then waking up in the mid 60s once again maybe some light drizzle over in our southern counties and then watch what happens in the afternoon we start to see a few of these splash and dash showers especially in our southeastern counties with temperatures getting back into the mid 80s nothing that's going to cause any heavy rain but something that may make you need to have an umbrella maybe use the windshield wipers and it's going to be very isolated in nature very few of you will see you see the rain tomorrow but some of you will and then we get cloudy again on sunday to start off the day and then sunday in the afternoon once again seeing the potential for a few of those splash and dash showers it says we go into next weekend that things really start to change watch the moisture tracker we have a little bit of moisture working as we go into saturday and sunday and it kind of plays with us pretty much every day through the week next week until we get into the later portions of the weekend that's when it looks like another one of those upper level troughs is going to form off to our west that'll pull in all this tropical moisture and provide some lift for some showers and thunderstorms some of which could be heavy some models want to give us another inch of rain as we head into Saturday. Something we'll be watching very closely. Of course, Chris Ramirez will be here tomorrow with an update as well and through Sunday as well. So be sure to tune in for that. 82 degrees at kickoff if you're heading to the Lakeview homecoming game. It'll be 71 by the time you head home, though. A very calm night, a good night for football. Tonight, down to 64, partly cloudy with those winds out of the southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour for your Saturday. Climbing up to about 85 with a 20% chance of showers again. Most of you will stay dry as we go into Saturday, but some of you will see the potential for a few of those splash and dash showers. Same on Sunday. We're in the mid-80s, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then going towards the end of the week, I only have a 30% chance showing up on Friday, but it says we get into Saturday. It looks like those chances may really be ramping up. We'll keep an eye on it for you, and we'll be right back.